What do I have to do to prove to you that I'm not a killer? Get a different face. Hey everybody! We're back on it. Y'all got me doing horror again. <laughs> So y'all know I haven't seen a lot of horror movies and mostly it's because I'm just too empathetic when I'm watching so it racks me. <laughs> it just <laughs> it tortures me. But we've been watching a lot of horror movies lately and I really have been having a good time with them. So we're on to the next one that y'all have suggested a lot and it is Scream. This is one of those movies that I feel like I've seen because I'm really aware of a lot of things about it just from being alive in pop culture. But I actually have never sat down and watched it. I know it's from 1996. I know it has Nev Campbell and some other people. I know there's a lot of people in it, but I can't remember who exactly. We'll see as it unfolds. Thanks for this one. Here we go. Back at it. Watching horror that isn't zombie. And y'all know I can watch anything with zombies. I've seen every zombie movie and TV show except for Z Nation. That's the only one that I haven't seen. But it's just different with zombies, okay? You know your enemy, you know exactly how to fight that motherfucker, and you also really are just trying to create your little family. It's a beautiful story usually. A way different thing than most horror. But you know what y'all? I'm excited for Scream. I'm excited. Here we go. Perry yes. Moore, right. Who is this? Well, what number are you trying to reach? I don't know. Well, I think you have the wrong number. Do right? I? It happens. Take it easy. You're all in here asking me 20 questions. I'm sorry, I guess I dialed the wrong number. Uh, so why'd you dial it again? To apologize. You're forgiven. Bye now. Wait, wait. Don't hang up. Girl, hang up! See ya. <laughs> uh, hello? Why don't you want to talk to me? Uh, no. You tell me your name, I'll tell you mine. Girl, hang up. Popcorn. You make your popcorn? Why are you telling him what you're doing? Popcorn. Well, I'm getting ready to watch a video. Excuse me, Drew. Scary movie. Halloween. You know, the one with the guy in the white mask who walks around and stalks babysitters? I do know. <laughs> but bitch, really, get off the phone. Do you have a boyfriend? No. This is the perfect way to get murdered. Why do you want to know my name? I want to know who I'm looking at. Exactly. What? Girl, hang up and dial 911. I thought we were gonna go out. Uh, the yeah. fuck? I don't think so. Don't hang up on me. And your popcorn's in there burning. Shit. What do you want? To talk. Well, dial someone else, okay? Dial someone else? Please stalk and harass another girl. <laughs> bitch, call the cops. <laughs> call somebody. Listen, asshole. No, you listen, you little bitch. You hang up on me again, I'll cut you like a fish, understand? Girl, pick up that knife you was playing with earlier. Can you handle that? Blimey. Great, he's seen your wig. Can you see me? Why aren't you calling for help? Listen, I am two seconds away from calling the police. Girl. You don't have any to neighbors? See what your insides look like. <laughs> Who's there? You're not even gonna pretend to try and defend Please. yourself. <laughs> you should never say who's there. Don't you watch scary movies? It's a death wish. God. You better just leave or else. Or else what? Exactly. Or else my boyfriend will be here any second and he'll be pissed when he finds out. Girl, I don't believe you for a second. I lied. His name wouldn't be. Do you know Steve? Know what the hell? He's real? <laughs> no, Steve is out there dead. Oh God! I wouldn't do that if I were you. Girl! Depends on you. I wanna play a game. Hell no. I'd rather die fighting. <laughs> like, girl, get your knife and do what you must. Take two knives, one for him. I have a scene yet. That's the wrong answer. Jason's mother, Mrs. Boris, was the original killer. Jason didn't show up until the sequel. Wait, what? Damn, they just spoiled that for me. <laughs> for you, there's a bonus round. The poor Steve, he's out. <gasps> What'd you do? What'd you do to him? What? How? How are his 
his innards exposed. Were you out there chopping the shit out of him while you were giving her the pop quiz? What door am I at? I just did not participate in my own murder in this way. Ugh. The popcorn is on fire. At least you ready to fight. Good job, baby. <laughs> Tassels in the wind? What's that? Ooh, that's a loud door. Do you have car keys or something? A bicycle? A little red wagon that you can stand on and push yourself with the other foot? <laughs> Girl! Oh, somebody's coming? <laughs> Stab him, girl! Oh, you're disemboweled lover. That is terrible. A car! Run for your fucking life, bitch! Run! What the hell? Why did she wait there? What was she waiting for? <sighs> Terrible. Okay. How the fuck don't they see her? Oh man. Jesus. Oh. Obviously, she's not still in the house. What are you bitches should be looking? Thank you, Father. Drive down to the McKenzie's. The McKenzie's? That's who they went to in Halloween. <laughs> oh, God! Oh, my God. Oh, I from that tree. Oh. Is this me? Bitch, you play too much. Just like Johnny Depp in Nightmare on Elm Street. Giving Nancy stress. I was home watching television. The, uh, the Exorcist. Indigo girls. You did? She ain't really trying to deal with you, Billy. Um, two years ago, we started off hot and heavy. Nice solid R rating on our way to an NC-17. And then you got really into the Indigo girls. <laughs> Curious. Lately, we're just sort of edited for television. Thought maybe we could do a little on top of the clothes stuff. <laughs> Billy, go home and wash your hair. You look in grease. Surprised you're going through with it, Nev. <laughs> she said, relax your roll. <laughs> Ew, <laughs> stud bucket. <laughs> no, I, he creeps me out. How was that romantic? <laughs> Bye, go out the window, Billy. I forgot about Steve. <laughs> oh, that was Courtney Cox. What is going on? You don't know? Oh, Rose is McGowan. Tragic. And we're not just talking killed, we're talking why didn't we be killed? Gutted. Doing this thing, this is the worst crime we've seen in years. Even worse than. Well, it's bad. Worse than what? Can the kids get some therapy? What about grief group? Instead of interrogations. Please just want to ask you a few questions, you okay? It's very familiar to touch her face like that. All students are encouraged to return to their homes promptly from school grounds. Avoid strangers who walk in twos and three classes. Stick together, bitches. It's wild out there. They didn't ask me if I like that. It's because there's no way a girl could have killed them. Usually women don't use knives like that. Shut the fuck up though, cause I would have gutted that bitch. I would not have gone down without a fight. I don't that much. Wow, can you relax please, Scooby Doo? Didn't you used to date Casey? Yeah, for like two seconds. And now you think it's funny? Oh, shit. Did you really put her liver in the mailbox? Because I heard that they found her liver in the mailbox next to her school. Y'all are sick. Those people are dead. Better you just don't care alone. about anything? Never alone. Are they trying to make us feel better for when it's your turn? Because at this point, I don't mind whatever happens to you. Oh, I hope Nev is the final girl, though. I don't want to see her go out. Wow, what a beautiful place to live. So you sure you can stay over? Because my dad won't be back till Sunday. No problem. I'll be back. Good. You do not need to stay alone. I'll be there by then. Look at that view. Thanks, you. Goodbye.
The bodies of 17 year old Casey Becker and her 18 year old. Oh, gosh, she can't escape it. The Woodsboro double murder case. Authorities are baffled by the lack of clues. Okay, and we get it, y'all. <laughs> Only a year ago, Maureen Prescott, wife and mother, was found raped and murdered not far from this peaceful town square. Is that your mom? Thinks this shit up. It's definitely her. God, honey. Oh, babe. Oh, that's so pretty. Excuse me. Why is it already after sunset? Is it fall? Shouldn't you be there to get me by now? Hello. Practice right away. I'm on my way. Okay. It's past seven. I don't care, bitch. Get here now. I'm gonna swing by the video store, right? Get me first. We'll pick the movie together. Girl, please do not risk my life for the chance to see Tom Cruise's penis. <laughs> please. No, don't Tatum, answer. just get in the car. Hello, Sydney. Hi. Who is this? You're telling me. Scary night, isn't it? With the murders and all, it's like... Hang up the phone and call somebody now. Randy, you gave yourself away. Do you like scary movies? What's the point? They're all the same. Some stupid killer stalking some big-breasted girl who can't act. She's always running up the stairs and she should be going out the front door. It's insulting. Are you? Gonna be you, homie. In the house. Randy, that's so unoriginal. I'm disappointed in you. I'm not Randy. And you should have known that. So, who are you? The question is, who am I? The question is, where am I? Well, girl, I had high hopes for you. Well, I call you bluff. Oh, you do? Can you see me right now? Bitch, you what are am I so doing? cavalier for a person whose mother was murdered. What am I doing? It ain't what? like it's impossible. Nice try, Randy. Bye now. If you hang up on me, you'll die just like your mother. Fuck you, you creep. There you go. Ooh. Ah. Uh. Oh, okay. Kick again, girl. Up the stairs, of course. God damn it. Into a room with no weapons. Kitchen, girl. Kitchen was the place to go. Knives galore. Heavy shit. Meat mallets. The Billy. fuck? Billy. <laughs> what? What were you doing over here? Do you mean he's gone? Like literally? Wait, what? Why do you have that phone on you? The fuck, Billiard? Are you the killer? What the fuck, David? You're looking guilty. I got him, Sheriff. Billy Loomis. Wait, Billy Loomis? Yeah, very fucking creepy. And low rent. It looks cheap. Girl, talk to the police. I'm a teenager. Where's you going? Penny? Yeah? I know that you're about 50 pounds overweight. But when I say hurry, move your fat tub of lard ass now! Bitch, you got a bad attitude, and I would not take that from you. Did you find him? He sure was a hilt. He's not registered there. What? Could he have stayed somewhere else? Why would he say somewhere other than where he said he would be? We'll find him. What are you doing with a cellular telephone, son? Everybody's got one, Sheriff. In 96, everybody did not have one. Thanks, Hank. We're on top of it. What were you doing over at Sydney's house tonight? I wanted to see her, that's all. And last night? You know what I Your daddy don't know nothing, do I? watching TV. I got bored. I decided to go for a ride. I didn't kill anybody. Even he thinks you're guilty. Well, we don't know. I didn't do it. There was nobody around but you. Unless this is all a dream, you the most likely bitch, bitch. Kenny, you don't have to take this abuse, honey. Hey, watch the Hey, you watch it, highlights. Ain't nobody getting out of your way with this attitude. Sydney, come on, you know me. Nah, you were always a creep. I'm sorry, but you were always on the edge. You were always on the verge, and I would not be surprised if you are indeed the killer. Sell this costume every five and dine in the state. 
Yes, There's cheap. no way to check the purchase. Put this camera in her face. All right, just leave us alone. So, how's the book? Well, it'll be out later this year. Oh, I'll look for it. I'll send you a copy. She probably deserved that on some level. What is the book about? Is it about her dead mother? Oh my God, I loved it. I'll send you a copy. Bam, bitch went down. <laughs> I'll send you a copy. Bam, Sid, super bitch. <laughs> At least your friend is hyping you up. Do you really think Billy did it? Who's there, too? He was destined to have a flaw. I knew he was too perfect. Girl, he wasn't perfect in the least. Oh, honey. Who's it? Who's it? My dad? Where is your father? How's she doing? Traumatized, mama. What you think? Hello, Sydney. It's the killer. My boyfriend. Looks like you picked the wrong guy. Dewey, get your homies on the line. What? What? Why is your finger on the trigger, bitch? You need to relax. When convicted murderer Cotton Weary broke into their home and savagely raped and tortured them. God, must y'all always describe it in such brutal terms? Billy was released. So the bill was clean. He didn't make those calls. It's gonna take some time to find him. Okay. No, not okay. There's no way I could carry on with my life. Not y'all dropping me off at school. <laughs> Bitch, what are you smoking? There's no way in hell I'm gonna go in there and learn today. <laughs> you know I throw hands. I'm, why are you wanna try it with me? Your mother's murder was last year's hottest court case. Hottest. Somebody was going to write a book about it. Right, and it had to be me with all your lies and bullshit theory. During the trial, you did all those stories about me. You called me a liar. I think you falsely identified him, yes. He left his coat at your house after your mother seduced him. I seduced him, leave. girl, please. You saw someone leave wearing that coat. Sorry I mangled your face. Sydney, don't go. Stop. Bitch, fuck off. She's too young. She's dealing with too much. How could you talk to her like that? She's a kid who lost her mom. Her. Do you know what that could do for my book sales? Y'all really want to fight today, don't you? Can you look at this place? It's like Christmas. Stupidity leak. Break up with him, girl. You still think it's me? No. No, I, I don't. It's just... Trauma response. You were there the night. Someone tried to kill me. I know, I know. No, the cops said I scared him away. I know. He called me again last night at Tatum's house. See? I was in jail. <laughs> Sorry, but damn! <laughs> what would you have thought if the situation were reversed? Understand what? I have a girlfriend who would rather accuse me of being a psychopathic killer than touch me. <laughs> you know that's not true. You haven't been the same since. Since her mother since died? Her mother died. Are you Is fucking you kidding, kidding me? me? Mom was killed. I can't believe you're bringing this up. I know, it's been a year. Well, I think it's time you got over that. I mean, when my mom left my dad, I accepted. Left, it. honey, honey, honey. Coming back. Girl, you should have left him in prison. Same thing. Your mom left town. It's a bad analogy. Can you please fuck off right it's now? Like, I don't want my girlfriend back. Well, you don't have a girlfriend, okay? Talking Damn. about my dead mother I'm like sorry. that. My traumatized life is an inconvenience to you and your perfect existence. Mm -hmm. well, and your little penis. Nobody said that. Please. You're so sick. Your entire habit-inducing, thieving, whoring generation disgusts me. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Threatening. You're both expelled. Yeah. <gasps> Come on, Mr. No, nope, fuck off. It's just a joke. That's nope. not fair. It ain't funny. You know what's not fair? People being killed. Fairness would be to rip your insides out, hang you from a tree so we can expose you for the heartless, desensitized little Damn. shit that you are. Taking it too far. The expulsion was pitch perfect. You're doing too much. <laughs> Threatening the children's lives. She was never attacked. I think she made it all up. <gasps> For attention. Excuse you, hoes. I'm in here. Don't hide. You shouldn't have to hide. What if she did it? Oh what my god. You gonna let this 30 year old cheerleader talk shit about you? Maybe she's a slut, just like her mother. You're evil. the common fact. You are sick, girl. Where's God, etc. And why are you just standing there listening to it, totally spies? Where do you get this shit? Well, you need to go to the library. Stop spending all your time watching trash TV. Oh, poor Nav. Nuh uh. They're pathetic. You're gorgeous. You're Nav Campbell. <laughs> Hello. Run now. Run, 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 run. Just get out. Just get out. Either somebody's trying to go with you or something really bad is happening. Oh. 
Nice slide, baby. School officials have yet to comment, but this is known to be the same costume worn by the killer. <sighs> Expulsion okay, party of three. Looks like we've got a serial killer on our hands. Serial killer, oh, accurate. Gotta knock off a couple more to get that title. Well, we can help, can't we? <laughs> I mean, we certainly don't have any leads. Have you located Sydney's father yet? Uh, oh my god, oh, he's, he's still suspect, gone? We haven't ruled him out as a possibility. It's not him. Excuse me. Well, you're not alone anymore, right? If you eat, I get. Is that clear? Yes. He's good good friend. Out. He's out. I don't know what you did, Cindy, but on behalf of the entire student body, we all say thank you! <gasps> Principal Freak, you need to relax. Hello? Scaring yourself and me. Go home. Oh, good. What is this, like, camera effect? Oh, shit. Did you call me? Oh, he's in the Freddy Krueger sweater. <laughs> Go to your home, sir. The children are gone, and you should be too. Is it behind the door? Oh, so he doesn't just kill young ones. He is an equal opportunity murderer. That's sad if, if that's they true. were having an affair, then how come Cotton couldn't prove it in court? It goes further back, so it's been hard to have that. I mean, you can only hear that Richard Gere gerbil story so many times before you have to start believing it. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> Bitches will say anything. So, First story. You know, if, if I was wrong about Cotton Weary, then the killer's still out there. You're starting to sound like some Wes Carpenter or Wes okay? Carpenter. <laughs> and the killer of the trees. Oh, now that's a poor taste. If you were the only suspect in a senseless bloodbath, would you be standing in the horror section? He's got killer printed all over his forehead. I kind of oh. agree. <laughs> like, I know he didn't do it, but he is creepy. Guy. The police are always off track with this shit. There's a formula to it. A very simple formula. Thanks. Everybody's a suspect. I'm telling you, the dad's a red herring. It's Billy. Maybe your movie freaked mind lost its reality button. I definitely think it's Billy That's now, because right. this movie is very self-referential, so. I'd be the prime suspect. Are you telling me that's not a killer? <laughs> <laughs> Facts, though. He does so much. This place is the town that dreaded sundown. Yeah, I saw that movie. How many horror movie references are in this thing? So you have a few intimacy issues as a result of your mother's untimely death. It's not what Gil said. Yeah, but he has been so patient with me. So, girl, that doesn't mean you have to fuck him, gosh. Billy and his penis don't deserve it, right? Right. Like, in the market, nobody else notices. Biophone just faxed us. Those calls are listed to Neil Prescott. He made the calls of the cellular phones, but confirmed. What the hell? Why would he be this murdering people in town? The anniversary of his wife's death. So he's we'll malcontent because of his wife. If he's not picked up by morning, then we'll do a house to house. This seems so Sydney. weird. Are we supposed to assume that he murdered the wife? You stay close to Sydney. And now he continues to kill <laughs> on the anniversary of the deed. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> this is the crazy thing to do. There's a killer on the loose. Look at the camera. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't well, bitch, you failed. You never know when or where a story will break. So you're trolling a teen Not much party? Of a story here, just a bunch bitch, of get a life. Cutting it loose. Do you mind if I join you? I don't know. Yes. Let me just get my coat. <laughs> this oh, bitch is like yeah. a black widow turning you in her little. I mean, you win. Really? Are you 15? Should I be worried? Illegal. Oh no, the nipples are a bad sign, right? Like she will be killed imminently. Great. <laughs> Why didn't you take some help? That's too many beers for you to carry anyway. Hey shitheads. Oh my God. <laughs> it's turning final destination. <laughs> Everybody thinks Randy just has tons of time on his hands. Cut one of them beer bottles so you can have a weapon. 
pick up the shards. Just gonna sit in a lawn chair. There you go. Yes. Good job, Rose. Damn. Oh, at the kitty door. No, I don't know about that. Okay, that's not gonna work. Come back, come back. See, if you had smaller boobs, you could just back out of there. What? That must be one shitty garage door. Y'all don't even notice? The party is over. Bill. Well, you were hoping wrong, bitch. Why does he keep showing up when there's a killing? You should be. I've been selfish. You have been. I apologize. No, really, I am the one who's been selfish. Your mother died. It can be about you for a little while, girl. Stress. I can't wallow in in the grief process forever. And wallow your mother, honey. If my mother died, I would become a killer. Yeah, I think I'm really scared that I'm gonna turn out just like her. You know, like the bad seed. The bad seed. Whatever happened to her, it wasn't her fault. Even if she was fucking other people. Jody Foster in Silence of the Lambs. When Don't tell me what happens in Silence of the Lambs because I actually do want to watch that movie. So. It's all a movie. It's all one great big movie. You sound like a killer. <laughs> Getting AOL messages and shit. Not worried about nothing. Reading books all day. That's Halloween. Bitch, it was scary to me. <laughs> when do we see Jamie yes. Pratt? Right? Not until Trading Places in 83. Stop! Will you stop spoiling the movies that I might want to watch one day? That's why she always outsmarted the killer in the big chase scene. Only virgins can do that. Don't you know? <laughs> Never, ever, ever under any circumstances say, I'll be right back. Because you won't be back. I'll get another beer. You want one? Yeah, sure. I'll be right back. Oh, oh well, Shaggy. He tried to save you. Dead. Okay, I'll see you in the kitchen with a knife. <laughs> Kenny, you have nothing better to do than play choo choo train with a Cheeto. I reported a car in the bushes down the road. I'm gonna go check it out. Care to join me? That's scary. Yes, bitch. <laughs> Actually, I'm terrified. Girl, I know you must have heard the virginity conversation going down downstairs. Hello? Yeah? Oh my god, that music. <laughs> they found Principal Henry dead. What did they have to pay to get the original Halloween soundtrack? Celebrating his death. Y'all are sick little losers. Relax, Frito Lay. They don't even care about you. Sorry. Are you okay? She's fine. Is that what you're looking for? This is Neil Prescott's car. Is it his father? Oh no. Why would her dad show up to kill her? Okay. It makes no sense. Who'd you call? What? I don't know. When you're arrested, you're like one phone call. So I was just curious. Who'd you call? Called my dad. Sheriff Burke called your dad. I saw him. When I called, I didn't get an answer. Huh. Huh is right. You don't still think it was me, do you? Hell yes, I do. It's reaffirmed. <laughs> I believe you are the killer. No. I'm just thinking if it were you, it'd be a very clever way to throw me off track. You know, mm -hmm. using your one phone call to call me so that I wouldn't think it was you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why are you telling him all of this? Why are you being a fucking creep? What do I have to do to prove to you that I'm not a killer? Get a different face. Huh? Oh my god, it's really not you? Sydney. <laughs> oh my god, it really wasn't him? Oh, <gasps> well you proved it. Ew. Oh, good job, honey. A sliding door. What? They have these fucking Victorian houses. Window? Oh. Okay. Girl, break that window and stop begging for somebody to show up.
Lucky, lucky, lucky. Run, run, run for your life. Okay, girl, he's probably on his way. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry you had to see that. Look behind. This is so sad. <laughs> Oh! Oh, so now you about to get stabbed, idiot! Oh! Hand me the keys, Kenny. <sighs> you gonna save me with your final act, girl? Can you hotwire? And I just don't see why it would be her father. It seems more like the father might have been killed and the car stolen or something. Cause why would her father chase her around this property like this? Elaborate way to kill your own daughter. Not Jamie moaning in the background. She's all of us right now. Kenny! What the hell, dummy? Look down. How do you run up on a scene when there's a killer on the loose and not take a quick assessment? Horrid as you are, I hate to see a woman get murdered, so I hope. Oh, what, how? Kenny's body is up there? Oh my god, this bitch is useless! In the Crayola 100 pack, you are the dullest fucking brown. Damn, honey. Sydney. Oh my god, with a knife in your back? Damn, no. No keys! You can trigger the lock mechanism under the car? You don't feel the fresh night air whipping through the police car? You should have said officer down. That's when those bitches really show up. <laughs> yeah, run back in the house and find Dewey's gun. Now, act like you want to live, baby. There you go. Hey, 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 Jesus, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Hey, <laughs> Are you kidding? No. I'm gonna shoot both of y'all. Back the fuck up. Put a bullet in one foot, at least, so they know you mean business. <laughs> fuck the both of you. <laughs> Billy's gray ass is still kicking? Ooh, honey, blood depletion. You are really rough and tumble. How are you still okay? What are you been bleeding more than this? What the hell? No, don't give him the gun. He's gone mad. It was Billy. Look at your crazy eyes. It was Billy. It was Billy. Anthony Perkins, psycho. I haven't seen that either. Ew! Same stuff they use for pig's blood. Wow. We should have known. It was too red, huh? Okay, Shaggy, are you in on it? What's going on? Surprise, Sydney. God damn it! It's a killing duo. Y'all are tag team murderers. Oh, man, Sydney. This is a worst case scenario, baby. This is as bad as it could get. Tell by the game, Sydney. It's called Guess How I'm Gonna Die! Fuck you! Yeah. We'll never get away with this. Tell that to Cotton Weary. So y'all kill her mother as well. Sick motherfucker. What? What? Did they ever really decide why Hannibal Lecter liked to eat people? Oh, oh my god. Seems a lot scary. Okay, we get it. You're a sociopath. Nothing will stop you but a bullet. My favor said that woman was a slut bag who flashed her shit all over town like she was Sharon Stone or something. Okay. So just your run-of-the-mill misogynist psychopath. Gotcha. Bitch, say slut again. She's the reason my mom moved out and abandoned me. Well, you know what? I'm glad. <laughs> you gave it up. Now you no longer have virgin. <laughs> okay, excuse me, second fiddle, because you were locked in the What's background. Oh, your dad is on. Go number three, Sydney. Daddy. Whoa. All right, you need to escape. Sent him off, and he went on a murder spree, killing everyone except for Billy and me. We were left for dead. Dad, man, get up! Oh, shit. You are truly demented. My turn. Sydney, you aren't even gonna try anything while they're standing there stabbing each other. Everybody dies. But us, we get to carry on and plan the sequel, cause let's face it, man. You are a manic, psycho, cuckoo bananas, honey. 
got a problem here. Gun man, the gun I put him right there. He's not there. Who has the gun? Fuck is it? Courtney? Don't hesitate, girl. Pull triggers. What are you waiting for? I anything for you. The reporter left for dead in the news van comes to. If everybody would stop with these monologues and go ahead and defend their lives. Boils your plan and saves the day. I like that ending. See, it's the safety on. You don't even know how to use it. A mess. Works better without the safety on. What? How long does it take the cops to show up? She walkie-talkied them forever ago. There's dead bodies everywhere. You're coughing up blood, you stupid fuck. Are you alone in the house? You dipshit, get out! I can't, Billy. I ain't coming to Stupid idiot. You got major arteries running through that bitch. I'm far too sensitive. Come on, rip you off, you bitch! It's like your fucking mother! You gotta find me first, you pansy-ass mama's boy! Fuck Forever ago. <laughs> Honey, yes. please die already. <laughs> Look at this fool feathering himself. What are you doing? Oh, wire hanger time. There you go. To <laughs> me, God. Everybody always thinks it's over when they're still in the thick of it. Ugh, not you getting a punch in the face while a bitch is half bled out. If you can take out Chicken Little with the umbrella, I know you can get this mother. Call me a bitch one more time. Oh, I hope you're getting electrocuted. He did. Aw, good. A painful death. That's what you deserve. Go on ahead and blunt force trauma his ass, too. Don't stand there holding the mask, getting retrospective, introspective. I probably should be. I never thought I'd be so happy to be a virgin. Excuse me, virgin. There you go. Oh, finally. Somebody learned how the safety works. When it comes to guns, red means go. Because I remember the safety that time faster. Mm -hmm. But that is a very believable thing to happen. You just worked up in the moment, you forget about the safety. This is the moment when the supposedly dead killer comes back to life. That's already happened like eight times. Scared. She said, not today, Satan. <laughs> oh, your dad. Have mercy. Poor Mr. Cotton. Ooh, is actually an innocent man on death row. It happens all the time. Hi, this is Gail Withers with an exclusive eyewitness. Bloodied and bruised doing the report. Terrifying this peaceful community like the plot of some scary movie. <laughs> Wow, still a gorgeous hillside. West. <laughs> oh, of course, written by Kevin Williamson. That's why there's 3,000 million references in there to other movies. A great time, y'all, a 90s classic. One movie semi-spoiled for me. <sighs> Unfortunate, I'm still gonna watch Friday the 13th though because I think it's still gonna be a good time. Messy, messy teen horror. Thanks for another bomb suggestion. So coming up in the next few weeks, we're gonna have a little quiet period because I'm gonna go see my family for the first time since 2019. So I'm not gonna have any of my filming, editing shenanigans with me. I'm gonna spend that time getting Patreon up and running. Keep suggesting stuff because it's gonna be a lot easier to get content up over on Patreon than it is here on YouTube, obviously, because I have to do a lot of copyright editing and I won't have to do that anymore. So we're gonna start some TV shows. There's gonna be tons of full length movies and polls and everything like that. Very exciting guys. I appreciate you so much and thank you for all your support. I will see you very soon. I'll be back about mid August, toward the end of August. Walking Dead will be back the final season. So I'll have new Walking Dead videos for you guys and obviously more movies and all of that. So I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks. <laughs> Talk to me about Scream. <laughs> I can't believe they killed Drew Barrymore in the first scene. I mean, honestly. Talk to me.